because you had a lot of attack speed. You had a lot of critical strike chance. You had a lot of critical strike damage. And you had a lot of haste. <laughs> That's what's fun. Hey guys, I'm Screamheart. I uh, came out of my content creation slumber because I felt the need to share this build that I made with you guys. I have not seen anyone else doing it, and uh, let's just say I'm having a hell of a lot of fun. It absolutely melts stuff. It's pretty good with AoE, but it's even better with single target. I was doing pulverize before, but just wasn't feeling it. It was a little too slow for my dish. But this is just beautiful. As you can see, my main damage source is my auto attack. I don't even use my spirit unless I feel the need to. Basically the only time I do that is if I go into a fight like this and I'm like afraid, I'll back out and toss some Pardatos in and let them do their work, but I don't actually have to go into the fight. <laughs> so aside from its speed and crazy damage output, the great thing about this build is that you can basically build it with just a couple of key uniques. The rest of it comes from your skill points and stuff. You don't actually need hardly anything in the build to make it function well. Part of the issue with the Pulverized Druid is that you tend to run out of spirit sometimes and when you don't get those lucky procs, you end up sitting there like an idiot like, alright, well, I guess I'll just auto this a couple times and try again. With this build, there is no chance of running into those issues. Let's see what the single target damage is like before I show you what the build is. Alright, let me show you how the build works. So the first thing is this weapon. The passive at the bottom there says, Claw is now a storm skill and also casts storm strike at 147% normal damage. You can see right here that I've got 25 points into these two, and those combine together into every hit. Not only that, if I pop my hurricane, they go up even more. So that's 29. And if I were to swap out Tempest Roar for the other helm that gives four to every skill, they'd go even higher. Now it does work just going out and auto attacking stuff without popping anything, but what really makes it tick is the ultimate Grizzly Rage. Not only does it boost your movement speed, your reduces your spirit costs, makes you unstoppable, but it also increases your critical damage by 10% every single time you crit. We're also getting additional ranks to all of our skills here because as you can see here our storm skills are werewolf skills and this gives pluses to werewolf skills which means that even though I don't use them very often because I'm basic attacking a lot my tornadoes are 8 out of 5 here and if I pop my hurricane we also get 2 more so 10 which makes that very good We've got 10 on hurricane as well just a lot of numbers and the skills there. Probably the most important thing though is this key passive called Lupin Ferocity. And it may not seem very good on first glance, but because we have five enemies being chained with our Storm Strike in every auto, and we're attacking extremely quickly, this is triggering every other hit. And sometimes just in one hit because we have the 10% chance for the two attacks from Claw. Not to mention the fact we're also getting 60% increased damage from this. And that's on top of whatever the critical damage actually is. Because it's a guaranteed crit and 60% increased damage. And that's every other hit. For the aspects, the most important ones are Dire Wolf's Aspect and the... Rampaging Werebeast for the ultimate, and then you want 
rapid aspect so that you have 45 percent attack speed on your basic attacks this is probably the single most important one because you can run the build with just this for your other ones you can do edge masters aspect if you tend to use basic attacks mostly there are a couple different options here there's one that procs electric damage on hit there's some that boost your core skills like the fortify give you 40 percent more on core skills if you like using the tornadoes i don't really use the tornadoes that much so personally i'd rather use edge masters or one of the other ones and then for your boots you're going to want to use the storm shifters aspect because all of your skills your storm skills everything counts as a shape shifting skill now so this will give plus two ranks to everything when you use it for gems on the weapon i use topaz because that's 40 percent basic skill damage for the armor i use sapphire because you're fortified the entire time and on jewelry i use the skulls for the extra armor for the skills i use blood howl this is interchangeable but i like having it because it constantly tops off my health it also gives 15 percent attack speed which is kind of nice i think earthen bulwark is a good one to have in between your ultimate uses if you don't have 100 percent uptime on your ultimate it's just a nice thing to have for survivability hurricane not only reduces the damage of enemies by 20 percent which is huge but it also increases all your skills with that storm shifters aspect Grizzly Rage, just a huge damage increase the entire time it's up. Makes you unstoppable, so you hardly ever get CC'd. Not to mention the Fortify, which keeps you constantly filled on Fortify. Claw is a must-have. This is your bread and butter of the build. You're going to be auto-attacking like crazy. This is doubled up with the Lightning skill as well. Tornado is nice as an option to dump your spirit if you want to. It also gives you an option to be ranged. You have the opportunity to use the one that makes tornadoes chase enemies instead of edge masters uh which is what i currently have on because i didn't have an edge masters uh i don't really feel the need for that because i don't use tornadoes enough but if you do like tornadoes you can put that on and tornadoes will become very effective on this build for my spirit boons i use wariness to reduce damage from elites swooping attacks for the extra attack speed calamity to extend the duration of my ultimate and then I bond with the snake so that I can get overload, uh, which is a lucky hit dealing lightning damage, has a 20% chance to cause the targets to emit a static discharge, dealing 20% lightning damage to surrounding enemies. That just pairs really well with the AoE from that basic attack. Finally, calm before the storm. It's a lucky hit. Nature magic skills have up to a 10% chance to reduce the cooldown of your ultimate skill by 2 seconds, which is very nice. Keep in mind that your numbers will look very different if you actually have the uniques and everything equipped because they give massive pluses to a lot of these skills. So, got these two maxed out. We've got our Tornado maxed out. We've got our Bulwark. Blood Howl. Most of this section is maxed out. I only put one point into Charged Atmosphere just so that it breaks the random destroyables around me for a chance at extra loot. <laughs> Hurricane's minimum here, but it actually ends up being about 10 with the bonuses that you get from other things. Neurotoxin adds crowd control, and then these two are nice for adding additional damage to the build. Then we've got our Grizzly Rage and our Lupin Ferocity. For the Paragon board, I'm not gonna go super in detail. Um, I'm using the Exploit Glyph, the Tracker Glyph, the Werewolf Glyph, and the Bane Glyph. Take all of these with a grain of salt because this was not something I spent a lot of time on. The most important legendaries are Heightened Malice for the extra damage with poisoned enemies around. And the only other particularly important one is this Constricting Tendrils, which is another lucky hit that adds poison and immobilize. Other than that, I mostly focus on finding things like attack speed, critical damage, and other things that affect my primary stats. The main stats to focus on this build are going to be critical damage, vulnerable damage, damage to close enemies, lucky hit, attack speed, critical hit, and cooldown reduction. My build's not even complete yet, so I'm looking into whether or not the Fists of Fate are worth wearing if I get a maxed pair. I think they may be a really good option because this build uses a massive amount of lucky hit. It's in the 
gear, it's in the spirit boons, it's in the skill tree, it's in the paragon board. Every part of it uses lucky hit in some way. So these could be particularly useful. And if nothing else, PvP for sure. Uh, I'm also waiting to get a pair of the Temerity Pants. Um, because those will take the survivability of this build through the roof. That's all I've got for you for right now. I'm going to be working on refining this build even more. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. If you liked this video, let me know and I will try and make some more in the future. Goodbye.